17,000 employees. 17,000 employees. Amazon layoff effective. 17,000 employees. Let's talk about this. This is the Clear Crypto YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. The Captain Adam Sheldon's here. You know, when I read articles like this, and I definitely want to go ahead and show you this, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. They're saying the beginning of 2022. Well, at the end of 2022, Q4, Amazon basically start the process of starting to lay off individuals. Now, at first, I thought when I saw this back in Q4, which is the end of 2022, it did say about more than 10,000. So I'm thinking 10,000, maybe you start fresh in 2023, and then eventually you start hiring some of these people back or you're creating jobs inside your firm. But then again, I saw this here. It says the layoff are likely to affect more than 17,000, even though there was a recent report that was supposed to be 10,000, it's more than likely over 17,000. Now, Amazon is like one of the largest companies that we have. Um, I remember, you know, reading about them that they under a trillion dollars in terms of overall company, in terms of revenue. But it don't stop Amazon Prime from delivering all those goods. I'm just saying, even though it is down, but 17,000 is a lot. And reading these articles here and looking at watch.guru, Amazon to fire 17,000 employees as reported. Now, remaining cuts to be made in the coming weeks. They're saying this could happen. Um, and then look at this, Amazon employed 1.5 million employees. This came from Q3 of 2022 major chunk of them were working in company warehouses so that's who is definitely taking the cut the people in the warehouses and the unnamed sources reconfirmed the layoffs in play mostly target the company's corporate employees interesting i would like to see amazon and other of these companies you know if you're cutting your warehouse creating other opportunities and creating skills where you don't have to do these massive cuts and you can still bring in revenue in but it could be some other details that's why this is happening why they couldn't do this in the months that follow the company additionally made targeted cut and shut physically stores and businesses unlike amazon care post that only the hiring freeze and layoff spree starts to begin so this was already in the work in q3 and q2 in terms of 20, 2022 of the layoffs and the cuts here and uh, 3% of the e-commerce giant corporate employees cut and 1% of the global employees cut. Now that number stands much higher. I hope this gets better. Don't like to see anybody lose their job, especially like a couple like Amazon, which is a, a giant in the tech world. And I do believe it's gonna be a major player in the future as tech continues to be a high demand. My name is Adam Shelton and thank you for watching this video today. What do I think about this? I'm all about you know, creating opportunity for other people and printing training there. That way you don't have to do these cuts. I understand you have to do cuts, but you gotta also look at, you know, what's the overall best for the company, but it's gotta be something, I hope in 2023, they do something about this where it's definitely a good thing for an employees and the company and we can move forward in a positive way. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one.